Yo bros, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. It's your friend Paul from Handsome Virgin. Dudes, looking amazing, gods. Today I was talking to my brother in the kitchen about faithfulness. And <laughs> I'm sure there's some people out there in the world that want their partners to be faithful. If you have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, if you're a girl watching this channel, and you probably want them to be faithful. You might. I don't know. You might. Okay. So, I was talking to my broski about this in the kitchen. And there's a fucking way to do it, okay? There's a way to do it where you earn their faithfulness. You, yes, that's right. You fucking deserve their loyalty, okay? Because, yo, flipping, check this out. Tell me what you, yo, tell me what you think about this in the comments. After I'm done telling the story, just pause the video and then I want to hear what you think about this. And be honest. Be, <laughs> be fucking honest, okay? That's all I ask of you. So check this out. Um, scratching my knee right here. I kneel when I'm producing and stuff. I've been doing that for some time. And I stop now and then I've been, what's knowing? Anyway. This girl, she comes up to a guy, the guy's got muscles, got a nice physique, and that's the value he's adding into the relationship. People need to see things in terms of value, because that's how everything is. Your subconscious mind sees it. Your biology sees it like that. But on your conscious mind, you need to notice it. Okay. So he's got a great body that he worked for. Okay. Whatever. Then the woman, she's got a great body. However she earned it doesn't fucking matter. She got genetics, whatever, or she did some squats, whatever, okay? And so she sees him, so that's the value she's adding. She's got good looks as well. So she goes there and she's like, okay, the man's got a path, the man's got a destiny, he's got a life. Do you have a life? And so she starts fucking dating this dude, okay? He starts fucking dating this girl. And then along the relationship, it's all going nice, and then the nigga decides to what? Start playing video games and what? Masturbating or playing video games. So what happens? What happens to his life? Oh, fuck. And now he's not as, you know, awesome as he was before. He's not as abundant. So the girl looks at him, she's like, oh, shucks. She's giving him all this value of her beauty and stuff. And he's not still going to the gym. Shucks, nigga. He's not still providing that healthy genetics for better children. He's not still, pro he's not playing his part. Her ancestors were fucking hard. Let's face it. People want to say, oh no, she's born with good looks. The girls, they're lucky. They have this, they have this. Yeah, they're lucky, but you're also fucking lucky to be a fucking man. So grow fucking balls if you're still talking about that stuff, okay? Okay? Her ancestors had to work for that. She may not have had to work for it, but her ancestors worked for it. My nigga, okay? You may not have had to work for your good looks, but your fucking ancestors worked for it, so somebody worked for that. If I'm gonna work out and my fucking uh, kids are gonna look good because I fucking climbed a mountain regularly, generation to generation, my blood, my family, my heritage, and that's passed down in the DNA, then respect that. Respect what the ancestors did for oh, their descendants, okay? So, whatever. She's now, oh shucks, she's got this value. And what's he adding into the relationship? And then there's a guy out there at the beach. And he's got such a great life. He's got such an amazing personality. He's full of life. He's being his God self. And she's like, oh man, he can add so much value into my life. That's what she's feeling, dudes. And she's like, Whoa. then the other, then the guy that switched up on her, he's like, oh, but, but baby, and he's dropping his Xbox controller. If you got an Xbox controller, it's fine. You can still play Xbox. My bro is an Xbox. He drops the Xbox controller, the PlayStation 3 controller. Oh, baby, but, but, um, oh, please, baby. Oh, please. She's like, oh, fuck, get away, get away. And he's got like Doritos and stuff and eating, um, he's drinking juice from a paper plate. He's drinking juice from a paper plate, okay? Or whatever, I don't know, whatever people do, that's, I don't know, what, um, whatever, it doesn't matter. He's doing that stuff, okay? And so, now, 
You see, he's not playing his part anymore. See, he's playing her part, but he's not playing his. <laughs> so, is it still fair? That's the question, dudes. It, honestly, now I want your honest opinion. Is that still fair? Because he may see her as the what what? He may see her as, huh, how come you're doing this to me, baby? How come you're doing this to me, baby? Why? Why? And then she'll be like, oh, no, oh, so it's just, oh, it's just, oh, no, baby, it's just, oh. How would you like to work your ass off to get into a relationship with a girl that looks decent? She's also worked to get to where she is. And then she stops working and she becomes fat. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so some bros are getting it. Okay, okay. But for my God bros, I know you already knew that. My God bros already know this stuff. For the other guys, it's still new stuff. And to those of my God bros that are maybe new stuff too, just continue to absorb it and it's fine. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So how are you going to feel, bros? And I want your honest opinion on this too. How would, pause the video after you hear this. How would you feel if the girl that you started dating just switched up on you and became fat? People are like, oh no. <laughs> Here's my take on it. People will be like, oh no. Don't be all about the physique. Don't be all about physical material stuff. Look at the heart. Look at the heart. My nigga. I come from the motherland. I come from Africa. I come from one of the most spiritual fucking countries in the universe. Okay? Listen to what I'm about to say to you. Your body is a representation of your soul. What you do, the actions you take, represent, they are an expression of your personality. You express yourself through your actions. When I hit the wall, look here, wah, wah, hit the wall, what does that tell you about me? It says something. Not always what you interpret it to be, but it definitely says something. Okay? When I shout, it says something. When I speak softly, it says something. When I eat a lot of food, when I know that I should be doing something else, it says something. When someone gives in to fucking laziness and makes an excuse, oh, whatever the fuck excuse they wanna make. They just say, uh. That says something. There's a guy who's supposed to meet up with me right now. Let's see if he's here. He should call. That says something, okay? It's part of you. When I'm consistently training and gymming or consistently working on my raps, it tells you about me and my determination and my ambition. When someone else decides to just take the easy way out and just not do that, that's fine, you can do that. Just don't talk anything, don't tell me a word. If you take the easy way out, don't tell me a word about the mountain that I am climbing. If you take the easy way out, don't talk about the mountain that I'm climbing. Okay? It is a personal choice. Regardless of someone else's blessings, don't worry about what they have. Don't worry how he got lucky. Oh no, he got lucky. She got lucky. He magically managed to get that promotion. She magically managed to get that. She's blessed with rich parents. She's got better genetics. He's got better genetics. Who the fuck cares? What are you doing? What do you have, as Brandon Carter said? Or Les Brown? What do you have? What are you doing with what you've been given? Okay? Look at me. I make the fucking most of what I've been given. And you see, the thing is, I'm so on the fucking positive. I'm so on the fucking positive that you won't even notice any negatives. I don't, I don't even think, I don't feel like I have any negatives. I don't have any fucking negatives. I'm only fucking positive. I only have good things about me. That's fucking it. The only one mistake that I made was being too fucking perfect. That's it. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Okay? That was the one thing. I, I was too great. I was too fucking awesome. So what did I do? I made niggas jealous. And I made bitches love me. That was the only mistake I made. And in fact, it's not even a fucking mistake. 
The only mistake that I made was saying that that was a fucking mistake. And that wasn't even a fucking mistake. That was just to prove a fucking point to you about a mistake that you made. I'm perfect, motherfucker. And you can be perfect too if you set your mind to it. And that wasn't even a mistake that you made. That's a mistake that society wants to ingrain into your brain and say that that's part of who you are. Bros, your body is an expression of you. When you take care of the way you dress, when you take interest in your life, when you listen to what people say, when you try to be interested in others, yes, you can try. When you're open to learning, yeah, you can learn. You can do a lot of fucking things with knowledge. And it's all about your mindset. Your mindset is the engine that takes you to success. And you can adapt it to take you there faster, or you can just make an excuse and just masturbate, okay? Packet of chips, whatever the fuck people masturbate to these days. Okay? Bros. So what's your opinion on that? About... <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Your opinion on that. Okay. So, now that we've got that picture straight, let's wrap this ish up. Getting someone to be faithful. You are adding an immense amount of value. Okay? For example, my girlfriend... I'm just being myself. I'm, I'm rocking the boat. I'm being my fucking self. If you do something, I'm going to tell you that you're fucking doing something, okay? Um, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to be me. I'm not going to hide it. I'm just going to be true and fucking honest and genuine with you. I told my girlfriend, yo, I will always be real with you. I love you and I will always be real with you. Here's me being real with you. I don't miss people. I, I, I don't... Maybe it's because I was in boarding school and I was abused in boarding school and I was away from my family for so fucking long that I can't fucking miss people! Okay, um, and I'm being real, okay, and she misses me, I don't miss her, okay, I love her, but still, okay, um, and then also, she sent me a picture of her boobs, okay, did I go and kiss her feet, no fucking way, niggas need to stop kissing people's feet, when you stop kissing your woman's feet, it will help her to be faithful to you, because she wants a man that she can earn her way to, she wants something with levels, where she can upgrade, what's the point of playing a game, when the moment you bought the fucking game, you've already won the game, Women and people want levels. They want to advance. My girlfriend, I told her we're never ever getting married because I'm not going to ever get married to her. And now in her heart, it's like her ultimate destiny. She wants to get to that point. But she's not going to get there because of who I am. Check this out. Being real. And I told her, yo, I want you to promise to me that you never, when we meet again, when we see each other again, you're not going to try and have sex with me. You're not going to try and have sex with me. So, bros, this is how it works with being faithful, okay? Um, you not you don't necessarily 